Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our three invests, especially Invest 99L, which is the one located in the Caribbean. So that looks as though it might become a very, very significant tropical cyclone. And then we have the other two out in the Atlantic. But before I go into details... Okay, and let us kickstart things with that disturbance that is highlighted in yellow. So this disturbance is designated as Invest 98L. And as of right now, it is given a 30% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. And so development of the system, if there will be any, is likely to be anytime soon. But the chance is quite low and has been quite stagnant at 30% for quite a while. And by this weekend, conditions will become less favorable to accommodate development of a tropical cyclone from the system here so it really has limited time uh, to get in shape and become a tropical cyclone but that does not seem to be what is going to be the outcome with the system since the chance is so stagnant and so let's look at it on satellite view and so we're seeing here that we really don't have much there is no organization and there is very limited shower and thunderstorm activity so the system is definitely struggling out there to get in shape so it is likely that we won't have a tropical cyclone coming from this area of disturbed weather and so now let's move on to our other invest so let's talk about invest 97 else that is a disturbance out in the atlantic that is highlighted in red which means that it has a high chance to develop into a tropical cyclone so looking at satellite view of it we're seeing here that it is getting somewhat in shape it is looking a lot better than 98l and so going to the national hurricane center's five-day outlook we're seeing here that it is given a high 80 percent chance to develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days so no imminent development is expected but when it moves a bit more to the northwest and then curve uh, into that shaded red region that is where we could have the, the development of a tropical cyclone occurring most likely by this weekend or so so by this weekend we could have a new depression or a storm coming from this area of low pressure and so the next names to be used for this hurricane season uh, the next two names are Ida and Julian and so this or the Caribbean disturbance could develop first and so whichever one does first that one will be Ida and the next one will automatically become Julian and so now let us go on to the model intensity guidance for our invest 97 Ellen so we have very few models available but most of them are agreeing that this will become a tropical cyclone and eventually a hurricane. So all but one of the available models are expecting that this system here is going to become a hurricane. But we have to wait and see what's going to be happening with it. But fortunately, it is going to be out in the open waters and not expected to be much of a threat to land. Next, let's go on to the Caribbean disturbance here and so looking at the satellite imagery we're seeing that it is actually getting in shape because last night it didn't look good at all but now this morning here we have the system starting to develop you'd say and so now let's go on to the National Hurricane Center's five-day outlook for it and so it is also given an 80% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone and a 40% chance during the next 48 hours. So it has a slightly higher chance than 97L to develop into a tropical cyclone. So this one here is definitely one to watch, guys, because when the system makes its way from the southwestern Caribbean, uh, it could potentially be a tropical cyclone before it arrives at the Yucatan. But when it goes over into the Gulf of Mexico, that is where we have a lot of trouble brewing because the Gulf of Mexico is very conducive in terms of conditions for development and so the ocean temperatures are really really warm there and especially just off Louisiana and we have GFS models showing that the system is going to be something quite significant there so we're going to be looking at uh, some model runs to see what they're anticipating at the time of landfall of the system here because it is expected to become a tropical cyclone and I have no doubt that it will become one. So let's go on to conditions that are currently across the basin. So first up, ocean temperatures. And so we see that ocean temperatures are very, very conducive. And where is the warmest section? The Gulf of Mexico, of course. So this is why 
it is a hotspot for our systems because usually in the hurricane season at around this time and heading throughout September, the ocean temperatures are just very, very, very warm. And this is why we have so much rapid intensification of systems whenever all the conditions there are conducive for development. In terms of the rest of the basin, we have the Caribbean being uh, quite warm as well uh, in the vicinity of the Bahamas and off the east coast is also there and out in the main development region is quite favorable so when our 97L is going to be making its way uh, more up to the north it is still going to be in some favorable waters that are going to be aiding in its intensification and so in terms of the wind shear now so looking at this map so the green means favorable the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable so looking in the vicinity of the caribbean where we have our 99l we do have some unfavorable shear there but conditions are expected to become more and more conducive as we approach the latter part of this week and in the gulf of mexico we have favorable shear persisting across uh, most of the western region but across the eastern section just off Florida right there we do have a spot of unfavorable wind shear but this is something that changes on a regular so conditions are expected to become more and more conducive for our 99L to develop and intensify and as this is going to be making its way across uh, portions of the South Caribbean it might even send off that rainfall to territories in Central America and even as far as Jamaica some moisture can extend and can result in some rainfall but significant impacts are not anticipated from the system and now let's look at what three of our models are showing in terms of landfall of the system here so first up GFS so they are they are expecting landfall by Tuesday the 31st of August and so this is a map showing the isobars which are lines of equal pressure and so when you see them in a circular manner with the pressure below 1030 millibars that is a low pressure system and especially when you see the isobars becoming very very tightly packed we have a strong uh, system right there so take a look at that just about to make its way into louisiana and 940 millibar low pressure system that is probably a category 4 monster right there guys so if you're in louisiana or along the gulf coast i would say please keep an eye on this and please ensure that you're prepared for a potential tropical cyclone landfall because here we're having this system here and we know that the gulf of mexico as i said earlier is where we have a lot of rapid intensification taking place of systems that make their way across it next up is the icon model and so this is by monday the 30th of august and it is showing a much weaker system this is about a 981 millibar low pressure system opposing to the strong tropical cyclone as shown by the gfs so this is probably a hurricane at this point and so finally let's go on to euro and so we're not seeing the numbers here but as you can tell by the isobars this is likely a hurricane making landfall on the gulf coast so we'll have to wait and see what happens but as we approach september we're now heading into that time of the year now where we have most tropical cyclone activity taking place and so as time goes by we are expecting to see a lot more of these systems and so guys that is really it for this update video on the tropics and again we have or invests 97 and 99l which are likely to become our tropical cyclones by this weekend according to the names ida and julian which are the, which are the next names to be used for this hurricane season and our caribbean disturbance which is 99l is likely to be a threat to portions of central america and the gulf coast and so i will keep you updated as time goes by and if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts within the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just Remember to always be with the wise.